Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is the unboxing and first impressions of the Techno Camon 16 Premiere. It is not to be mistaken for the Vanilla Camon 16 and the Camon 16 Pro. This video is going to be very quick. When you open the box, you're greeted with an envelope that houses the warranty card and the clear TPU case with the Manchester City FC logo. Let's keep it aside for now. You have your device wrapped in plastic. Let's take out the sticker on the back. This is the Glacier Silver color and according to the website, this might be the only color we are getting for now. On the bottom compartment, we have a hefty 33 watt fast charger, a USB Type-C cable, a SIM ejection tool located in a rather unusual part of the box, I think, and a pair of earphones. Now let's see how well that case fits. Two flaps on the bottom, flap one, flap two, necessary cutouts on the side and definitely hides that camera bump, yeah. I almost missed the screen protector cause there's one already applied and it's nearly invisible. You should probably take this out and use a glass one instead. As usual, I checked the phone settings for all the supported bands and yeah, it does support the infamous Glow 4G band 28. Moving on, on the front you have a 6.9 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display with 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. On the top left corner, you have a punch hole that houses a 48 megapixel dual camera setup with flash. On the back, you have a 64 megapixel quad camera setup with 5 flashlights and some techno branding. On the left, you have a 3 in 1 tray that houses two 4G LTE nano sims and an SD card. On the right, you have a volume rocker and power button which doubles up as your fingerprint sensor. On the top, you have nothing. On the bottom, you have a speaker, a USB Type-C port, a microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. About the design, first of all, this glacier silver color is so good looking and it looks icy blue under every lighting. I can't get enough of this color. Techno definitely tried to get as close to premium as they possibly can with the paint job aesthetic that gives off an illusion of aluminum and glass sandwich, but the back and frame are made from plastic. The square camera bump in the middle of the back is certainly new with Techno and may remind you of something you've seen before from the Redmi Note series. It's a huge phone and its weight is leaning towards the heavy side especially when you have a case on like I do here. It's a huge fingerprint magnet so actually I suggest you use a case on this phone. On the front you have what Techno calls a dual dot in display and the bezels are really thin with a bit of a chin. It's almost 7 inches so it's not very convenient to use in one hand. The lock screen wallpapers all tend to mask the presence of the punch hole but it's actually not all that intrusive and there's also no light bleeding around it. It boasts of a 90Hz refresh rate that makes scrolling, swiping, gaming, etc. smoother all around. The Camon 16 Premiere comes in 128GB of storage and 8GB of RAM. You get 117GB of available storage. We are running on Android 10 with HIOS version 7.0 slapped on top of it. Now HIOS may have improved over the years but the ads and bloatware are eternal, it seems. I think being able to delete most of these should bring some level of comfort. You get dark mode on here, I love how dark it looks. You get a very busy quick settings too. You've probably seen what this UI is about in a previous video, let's walk through the rest of the specs. We get the MediaTek Helio G90T octa-core CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz and it's a super fast gaming mid-range chipset which handles heavy hitters like Fortnite. I'll be uploading my gaming review in a few hours, that is if it's not already up. We have a 4500 mAh battery and from my experience this is an all-day battery life or two-day battery life depending on whether or not you game for hours. The 60Hz display mode does give you extra hours over the 90Hz. I promised to keep this video short for two reasons, one, there's probably already a follow-up video on my channel and two, this phone is giving me major deja vu. As at the time of making this video, I don't have all the information about the Pro and Vanilla variants but what I do know is that the Premiere is going to be the top of the line just like it was with the Camon 15 series. The Camon 16 Premiere is priced at 115,800 Naira which converts to 250 US dollars and if you pre-order using the link in the description, you get a free wireless earbuds from Techno called, and this one is tricky, the Hypods H2. Let me quickly unbox it. Slides to open. We have a note that says, no strings, no stress, 24 hours non-stop music. 
We have a user manual that no one reads but sometimes be responsible and read it. This is the charging case and inside sits your left and right boards or should I say left and right high pods, maybe. You also get a micro USB cable and some extra earbud tips. This end of the USB plugs into the charging case and you can use your charger from the Camon 16 Premier or any third party charger. You can actually buy the HiPods H2 separately for 9,300 Naira. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what I'm up to. Please subscribe for more videos like this as it will mean a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So I am recording a bit of footage with the 4K camera on the back just to end this video. We can go through the specs again. Yeah. So we have uh, Android 10, obviously, maybe something we haven't mentioned, 4,500 milliamp hour battery, um, ambient sensor, light sensor, proximity sensor, fingerprint sensor, electronic compass, <laughs> GPS, Wi-Fi, FM, Bluetooth, OTG, and yeah, so let's round up this video.